how to get and use command macros in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. This allows you to run any command when you hit a button. So for example, right here, this is filling land around me whenever I hit this keybind. So to be able to do this for yourself, first of all, what you want to do is hit the pause button. You want to go to settings and then create a settings down the sides. And make sure you have this enable command macros turned on. Then hit go to keybinds and scroll all the way down till you see your command keybinds. So as you can see, this is the command macro section and you can add up to 10 command macros. It says command macros allow you to assign a keybind input that will run a command when pressing alt and the bound key. So as you can see, this is the command macro I've got set up right here as an example. It's slash fill tilde 20, tilde tilde 20, tilde minus 20, tilde minus 5, tilde minus 20 air. You can have this be any command you want it to be. So let's do another one right here. So you want to click on the unbound button and then click with whatever button you want it to be bound to. So let's go for H for this example. Then for the command, let's make it load a structure. So slash structure, load, and then let's call it house. And then tilde, tilde, tilde. Then you can simply back out. Now, as this is a structure, obviously you need to have a structure in your Minecraft world. So this is a structure, for example, it's just a villager house that is slightly been edited just to show you that it is different. And you basically want to save the structure if you're doing this with structures. Obviously, you can do it with any command. This is just an example of a structure that's in a structure block and is saved called house. And then if we go to wherever we want the structure to be loaded, I can simply hit Alt and H, and it will paste the structure as you can see. So the structure is right here. It's also saved the iron golem because there was an iron golem when this was saved. And if we go into this house, as you can see, there's also an NPC, which will allow you to basically run commands with inside of your macros that are more complicated because you can add multiple lines of a command to an NPC in one command if you want to. So you can have a macro, for example, that pastes a whole NPC shop wherever you want it to be pasted in your Minecraft world. And then you just have to edit the items in the NPC shop from what's already in your NPC. I'll leave an NPC shop tutorial at the end screen of the video and also a tutorial on how you can move structures between worlds. So you can make a macro in one world and then you can move it to a different world and have that structure be loaded in a different world because you need to have the structure in the actual world for it to be able to work. But the macros are really handy. You can have up to 10 of these macros. As far as I'm aware, this is only available right now if you are on a keyboard and mouse. However, hopefully one day it does come to controller and touch as well. I'm not sure of the reason they're not on controller right now and to touch screen is because I don't really know how you'd implement that on those because obviously they only have limited buttons. However, it is really cool that this is a feature and hopefully there is a way to be able to port it one day to other devices as well. Let me know in the comments below, what are you gonna use these macros for?